Just four men remained in the hunt for glory on another warm, calm day on the picturesque Portuguese coast. Conditions were good and the clay had been prepared on semi-finals day at the Millennium Estoril Open. A sellout crowd were ready to get behind Portuguese number one Joao Souza when he stepped into Estadio Millennium with Greek next-gen star Stefanos Tsitsipas, who was looking for back-to-back -back finals after going deep in Barcelona a week earlier. World number 68 Souza, who before this week had never won a singles match on this court, was producing his best tennis in front of Portugal's president, who was courtside for the second time this week. And in the seventh game of the set, Souza's pressure paid off with the first break of the match. Minutes later, the first set was done and dusted. Advantage Souza as the Greeks' frustration began to surface. The 19-year-old has shown incredible resistance during the European clay court swing, however, and once more he bounced back in style, racing through the second for the loss of just a single game. Both men continued to raise their level once the decider got underway, producing one of the points of the tournament in the third game. Ultimately, it all boiled down to a deciding tiebreak, and Souza held his nerve to convert his third match point for a thrilling 6 4, 1 6, 7 6 victory. He was into his 10th career final and his first on home soil. Uh, I think in the third set I, I served very well. I was, as you say, I was uh, winning my matches, my my games very very easy, and uh, he was struggling a little bit because I was I was able to to return very well. And uh, yeah, in the end, the tiebreak it could be uh, to him, but I think I played great tennis and I was able to win. Facing Souza in Sunday's final would be either defending champion Pablo Carreño Busta or young American Francis Tiafo with a next-gen star already looking to move into his second final of the year. After wins over Tennis Sangren, Gilles Muller and Simone Bolelli en route to the last four, Tiafo took his game to another level against the world number 11. The 20-year-old broke twice on his way to cruising through the first set, 6-2. The American world number 64 was varying his game nicely, broke early in the second and kept Carreño Busta under pressure with some big forehands. And besides his power from the back of the court, TFO kept the Spaniard guessing with some nice feel from time to time too. And it wasn't long before TFO stood at match point. A very impressive 6-2, 6-3 victory, notching his fourth top 20 win of his career. Yeah, it was pretty, pretty damn good today. Yeah. Caught fire there for a hot second, um, and then hold on. He made me. I knew that four three game. I knew he was gonna step up one game and and and, and make me work, and he did. Um, luckily, I kept coming up with the goods, and uh, and yeah, it was an every return game with no pressure on him. But yeah, I mean, I was playing really well today, and you know, can't really be mad. The stage is set then for Sunday's final when Francis Tiafoe and local hero Joe Souza will battle for the title. <laughs>